Hey superstars, welcome back to one of my autograph videos where I doodle a player and bug them through the mail for an autograph. My man Chad from Cool Plastics sent me this plastic wrapped rack pack of 1986 Topps bubblegum cards. Very cool of you Chad, let's see what we can find in here. Blue Jays guy, Gene Garver, already did Garth, Brett Sabretooth, Tiger Haven, Tiger's guy, White Sox guy, I think the victim will be mustachioed Blue Jays guy, cause you know, mustache. Now I gotta figure out if this is Dave Steed, Dwayne Ward, or Jim Clancy. They might all be the same guy, actually. The title card said Jim Clancy, and nothing on this channel is untrue, so Jim Clancy it is. Jim had a solid 15-year career doppelganging as three different pitchers for the Blue Jays, Astros, and Braves, but not all at the same time. That would be ridiculous. He made the All-Star team in 1982 and won a World Series game out of the bullpen for the Braves in 1991. And now for the nonsense portion of the show. I thought about making the whole video about how I like to say Clancy, and every time I'd say his name I'd say Clancy, but I like you viewers too much and Clancy, see that just doesn't, Clancy, okay I'm done I think. And then I thought about how he might be the son of 80s crime fighters Cagney and Lacey. They couldn't decide whose name he was going to get, so they just smushed him together to make Clancy. Sorry. But it turns out that it just wasn't true, and my younger viewers would have no idea who Cagney and Lacey were. And I barely remember myself, actually. So I dug a little deeper and discovered that he won a Nobel Prize for his Clancy potato chips. You see, Mr. Clancy grew up on the mean streets of Chicago, so his childhood was kind of like the video game Streets of Rage. So much punching and kicking and fighting and lost quarters. Turns out all the rage was about the high price of name brand potato chips. So when he went to pitch in Toronto, he found out that Torontonians were the nicest people on the planet. Oh, you broke your arm in a street fight or hockey match? Come on over to the hospital, it's free! If you needed a donut or a cup of coffee, they'd be happy to take you to Tim Hortons. And most importantly, Torontonites would never judge you by what brand of potato chip you ate. This inspired Clancy to develop his own off-brand potato chip to be sold in all the discount grocery stores. Now, kids from all walks of life could enjoy delicious, crispy, golden potato chips. And the best part is, is that the bag looks almost exactly like Lay's potato chips, so you didn't have to worry about getting beat up by nasty potato chip snobs from down the street especially if they had bad eyesight. But enough about snacks. Let's see if we can get an autograph. I got my 86 Blue Jays card, found an 82 Donruss. I didn't have any Dave Steeb or Dwayne Ward cards handy, so these will have to do. Off to the mailbox. Let's see, apparently I've forgotten how to open envelopes. He kept the doodle. These cards look awesome. No potato chip residue, so that's good. I love it. Thank you, Mr. Clancy, for these autographs and your delicious, delicious potato chips. Thanks, Cool Plastics, for the rack pack. Go check him out. And thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. And we'll catch you next time.